Hi my gardening friends. I'm Lark and I'm in Wisconsin Zone 5. I want to give you a quick video on my comfrey. This is its um, second year and I put it close to my uh, raised re veggie beds, the cinder block veggie beds here. And I put it close because I'm using it for uh, mulching the soil later on in the season and it also makes it very easy to uh, harvest when uh, I go to make my infusions close to the house here. I have some more down in my bog area but this one here I really use a lot and I'll be able to get a good uh, a root tincture made this year or even just drying the root. Also, the bees love comfrey, so it makes it beneficial for the veggie garden. Also in here to attract bees are tons of uh, perennial uh, bee balm, a bright fire engine red. Earlier in this season, what will be blooming uh, to attract the bees are the large oriental poppies daisies, but mostly I wanted to show you my comfrey. It's coming just excellent. It can, it's very sandy here, but I amended the soil somewhat. And I can keep it watered because the hose is right here. Oh, talking about hoses, I have to show you. You guys probably saw uh, on some of the commercials or maybe at your local store, too, I got a new hose. I was complaining that my hose, the 100 foot, is so heavy for me. And I wind it up each and every time because I don't like the messy hose. Oh, so we got this one. He got this one for me. And I love it. Now, it got pretty good reviews, at least of the newer version. But we'll see. I like it. It's lightweight. I wind it up each time and then I cover it because this is the west side of the house and I don't want the sun beating down on it. But that's my new scrunchy hose. Bye bye my friends. Check out my website www.larksperennials.com. Thank you.